the film BAFTAs 2009. Is what I would say if I were actually there. I'm not. I'm behind this barrier. Take a look at that. And that is where the fans stand, hoping to get a glimpse of some of the biggest names in Hollywood, like Brad and Angelina, Kate Winslet, and Paul Denan. Who needs them? Who needs access? Who needs permission? That's always been my motto. I couldn't agree with you more. If you did want to get onto the red carpet, you needed one of these. A magical orange neck pass. Then you can hang out with all the celebrities you wanted, but those celebrities would be nothing without the fans standing outside in the cold. So, we're going to talk to the real stars, the audience and the crowd. They are the real stars, honestly. It's not just because we can't get access. Uh, Yusuf, are you excited about the BAFTAs? What are you doing here, stood outside it? I was taking my girlfriend to Covent Garden. Oh and yeah. We got held up by all these people. So, so I, didn't, I didn't know it existed. If so. anything, the BAFTAS has gotten in the way it's of your day. It's gotten in my today. way. Exactly. slightly pissed off that all these movie stars have come into town, <laughs> you got it ruining well. your afternoon. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, are you a little bit nuts that you can't get in right up close yeah. to the red carpet? We really want to be there. I've got a ticket to get in. You haven't got a ticket to get in? No. We, we were thinking about breaking in ourselves. Do you think we could do that perhaps by disguising ourselves as movie stars? Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> what, who would you go as if you had to disguise yourself? Who do you think you look like? John Turturro. John Turturro? Just, who, he's not in who on it. earth is he? Oh, he's an older actor. It's is not it, in any way a compliment. He's not a compliment. Why? Is he a bit of an ugly man? Mm, Angelina. Yeah, you think Angelina be. Jolie? You're perhaps slightly more buxom than she is. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I muscle, can say... Muscle, muscle. Yes, of course, muscle. She must work out quite a lot. I reckon some of the fans are probably more talented than the movie stars they're autograph hunting for. Uh, so to prove my theory, I've invented this amazing quiz. Yes, it's the guess which BAFTA nominee this stranger is impersonating quiz. And first up, it's Kelly. Kill the Batman. <laughs> that is the stuff that nightmares are made of. But who is she impersonating? Oh yes, it's Best Supporting Actor BAFTA winner Heath Ledger playing the Joker. Right, let's see Yusef and his unidentified girlfriend's impression. I bet it's the Passion of the Christ, am I right? Oh no, they were recreating BAFTA winner Kate Winslet's pose with Leonardo DiCaprio from the Titanic. And finally, who is Alex impersonating? The first rule of Fight Club is, don't talk about Fight Club. Bloody hell, he's charismatic, I knew we'd find a star, but who is he impersonating? Oh yes, it's BAFTA loser Brad Pitt playing Tyler Durden in Fight Club. Well done Alex, you're very talented, but wait. What's that around your neck? Have you got Bargain. access in there today? Yeah. What's it like having access to an event like this? Because we didn't get any. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, yeah. What's going on back there? What are we missing out on? Are there I literally just or... survived, so you I don't, don't know. know. Can we, can I, can I, if I beat you up and nick your clothes, I could sneak in and pretend to be you, couldn't I? You could. <laughs> Little did he know, I was serious. Using a mirror and some Garnier Fructis hair modelling clay, I was able to lure him away from the crowd. I was just seconds away from stealing his pass and entering the BAFTAs, until I was discovered by the Mo Flipping Popo. I have to escort you out of these premises and you can say you are banned from the BAFTAs, never to come back again. You can walk on or you're going to be arrested. So, there you go. The BAFTAs 2009. Let's hope we get access next year. Hmm?